Hi there, I'm Artem Alex. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining us today. I really appreciate it. I would like to introduce myself. I am in my ninth semester of college and I am double majoring in both advertising public relations and philosophy. With the ad PR, I have my emphasis in PR, and then I have my general focus in philosophy in ethics. Overall, I want to be a business ethicist, but more towards a background in communication versus the traditional business. Most business ethicists go to the school of business, but I am in the school of communication. PR is communication based, but it is still very much so marketing and business. I wanted to talk to you guys today about exactly that, communication. We talk to ourselves, our friends, our family, people in public, like at school, at work, or just in the general world, but then the general world also talks to us as well as everyone else through things like social media, we got the cool kids Instagram, TikTok, and Snapchat, and then Facebook and Twitter, and then Reddit, where the real boring people go, like me. <laughs> no, we're not boring, we're great. But also, there are so many other forms of media in which we are communicated with, like entertainment uh, is a big one, and advertisement. And those are the two that definitely communicate with me the most. Entertainment, movies, TV, YouTube, they really drive things into your brain and are part of your socialization. But, and then there's advertisements, which do the same thing, but in a completely different way. You know, entertainment is based off of, like, learning morals, being entertained, whereas advertising is, let me sell you something. And that is generally towards your instinctual needs. We all know what that means. But yeah, I just wanted to say that advertisements are everywhere. I'm not in advertising, I am in public relations, which has advertising in it, as well as marketing. It is really the cornerstone of business communication. But advertisements are all over all medias, social media, the internet, uh, like Google's, um, entertainment, in entertainment, like you get ads around your things and in them as well. And then you have them in stores, in the streets, on your clothing. They're really just hidden everywhere. Throughout my life, advertisements have greatly just fascinated me. They're meant to pull you in, and they have. For me, at least, for sure. And like everyone else, I've watched the world grow slowly more and more gross and strange in the weirdest of ways. It's like the whole world turned lazy in its codes of conduct. Mostly I have a lot of uh, weird passion towards why are people remaking old movies, namely Disney. I don't understand why people aren't re- oh, I do understand why people aren't making their own original things. And that is because art is referential. If you want to be a good artist, you have to refer to something that people know in some way. But I don't understand why they're not doing that with new movies. That would be fantastic. Like little uh, quips that people know and love. Like, I don't know, I was just watching King of the Hill the other day and little Bart Simpson is on Bobby Hill's bookshelf. See, new show different, or not new, but <laughs> different shows, but little, you know, homages to what people know and love to make you know and love it more. I know Bobby just a little bit more because he's a Bart Simpson kind of guy, but I could go on and on and on about freaking remakes and <laughs> the movies. What's really important here is people couldn't give two flying funkies when it comes to ethics and getting ahead of the game in business. To keep Disney as our example, they have just forsaken the entire 
childhood entertainment and others, including Simpsons, uh, and bought them to make their money off of their trademarks. They just pretty much, in my opinion, monopolized it because how are other people supposed to make a big child movie, children's movie, without it being slapped with Disney? Because all these parents are just going to be like, here's your Disney Plus, kiddo, have fun, and no one's going to see anything on anything else. Um, they bought Pixar, they bought, like, baseball or football or uh, some sport thing, but why, though? Really, it's, it's to make money. That's all, that's like the only reason why. I don't understand. There's this huge drama thing that's even outside of the movies, of the Marvel movies. It's the drama of who owns it between Disney, Marvel, and Sony. No, who owns Marvel, I mean, like Disney or Sony. You know, it's this huge dramatic thing, but they all just want to make their own money. And they're not just making their own freaking movies with their own imagination. This is what I really want to change about the world. Just be original. I don't know. That's not really it. It's mostly just to make the world better. And I think that that's one of the things that would make the world a better place. If there was more originality in the world versus remaking Disney movies every 10 years where or I, I'm pretty sure it's 10 years. But why, though? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Business ethics, traditionally, is a very uh, consequentialist thing, where everything has to do with the consequences of their actions. Utilitarianism falls into this field, and a lot of that just means the ends are justified by the means. And then deontology, Having a duty to be moral, this is completely absent in business ethics. Deontology means to follow the rules or else fall into chaos. And yes, I know that includes having better rules in the world, and a lot of people think they can just ignore the bad rules that exist, but that's why chaos ensues and it cannot be stopped unless good rules exist and people follow them. People won't follow the rules unless all the rules make freaking sense. Anyways, this deontologist ideal, I'd say, is completely absent in business ethics. People do not just assume they have to follow the rules to get ahead of the game, to make a good business, to get on their competition. No, they just think the ends justify the means and that is that. There's a saying, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. I don't know who said this, it's, it's just a saying. But this is a very utilitarianistic saying. It just, everything is justified by everything else. If you talk for long enough, you know? And it often does in the business world. As a philosopher, a philosophy major, we deal with a lot of existentialist questions. Who am I? Why are we here? What does the whole world mean or have to do with me kind of thing? What's my purpose in life? And it's not advertisement revenue. That's for freaking sure. Uh, advertisement revenue, streaming revenue, subscription revenue, just like money all around. Now, I know that I'm making a YouTube video, which will eventually have advertisement revenue, but everyone knows that that does not work on YouTube. <laughs> you make money from selling merch and having Patreons and da da da. No, I'm talking about freaking people selling data to other people for advertising. You know, everyone loves to steal your data just so other people can sell you stuff better. I personally don't know how this fits into an ethical scenario other than selling data is wrong when the user has no knowledge of it. 
but obviously I would want to be advertised the products that I want and not be at products that I don't want. Um, but that's a whole nother conversation. Rounded out, pretty much I just wanted to introduce me as a business ethicist or future business ethicist who wants to really just fix the way that businesses communicate with people and the public. They shouldn't be, what, what's a good word for just bad? <laughs> Sly? They shouldn't be cruel. They shouldn't be secretive. Um, everything should be transparent and people shouldn't be monopolizing things. I didn't even mention Amazon, but Amazon's a freaking monopoly too, if you ask me. But, you know, another conversation. <clears throat> I want to thank you again for joining me today. It's been a real hoot and a holler, and I'll hopefully get some more things to talk about soon. Bye bye bye. Oh, and subscribe, and like, and comment, and all that jazz, and tell your friends, and your best friends, and your boyfriends, and your girlfriends, and all of those. Bye!